So that might just be what Influence is going for here. Tinder to catch his mid. There's that cold snap follow up. It doesn't look like he's got any spells, but is he going to need anything? Super pops his one, turns around, gets a stun onto June, and with a cooldown from Burning, the damage is too much for the Dazzle to fight into. June's still in some trouble himself, but Demons has rocked up with a nice cog, trapping Burning in place, but that's just going to feed him an extra kill, and Burning gets three. Building a Blade. I, that's where I'm also surprised Clockwork's going for Blade Mail over Four Staff. He's a support Clockwork. He's going to get the Blade Mail at such a late time that I just don't see it really coming into effect because Gyro's going to have a BKB by that point. Uh, battle for the Ancients, Inflame got stunned oh, twice. Oh, the hook shot's good though, he's going to break them off at the back with the cogs and the w vacuum in! Three heroes caught inside! Super has not got a BKB to deal with this one, and Burning, he's rotated with a cooldown, but he has not got the backup he needs from the rest of his team. He's forced to go on the run, and you mentioned the Battle of the Ancients. Perfect jump, into the cogs, into the vacuum wall. And it was actually, I think, a very Five good... Five second duration on a 16 second cooldown. Oh, hook shot in, they've caught two. Super somehow does not get pushed by the cogs. Oh, it's Frog, please. Demon's now getting grave to keep him alive. It's aiming the front lanes on Terrorblade. He's going to need a Sunder, it looks like. Has he got any good Sunder target? So he goes on a Super, but Super wasn't even that healthy. And aim going to go down, burning. Survives through it all. The negative weave not going to prove to be enough. Meanwhile, in the back lines, it's Inflame chasing down with a BKB. He's taking out the Dragonite and the Lion. The Gyro not really in the best fighting shape, but being earned back up. Poor Terrorblade just had no one to sunder there. That seemed ridiculous that it did not push DK. They're gonna catch Ice 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 in the Orchid. Inflame looking to chase him down. We'll need a couple more right clicks. Gets the kill. Turns around for a Deafening Blast on the Burning. But FY's here to save the day. That Sprout locking him in place. But FY cannot win the right click battle. Throws out a tornado. Has to deal with a homing missile. Burning! 90 HP. Where's that Sunstrike? Can you swag? Have they got any vision? It doesn't look like it. Inflame will walk into it. Sunstrike. Let's go, Sunstrike. Inflame! No. Oh. Yeah, not that close, but he went for it. The Invoker, but uh, Bichi read the situation really nicely. And despite the Rocket Flare canceling the blink to prevent Sanking from getting in there with the Epicenter, they're still going to win the fight. Yeah, and they kind of yeah. fumbled, like, the DK didn't even get his stun off on the Invoker before the BKB, so they fumbled it a bit, Bichi Gaming, but it was just, once the Invoker was known to be in the pit, like, they had no way to defend this one. And now Invoker, committing to the AC, does not have buyback. Terrorblade's gonna look to defend now with a BKB. One more right click, he takes down Super. Burning on the front lines, has an Aegis, but he may die twice if he's not careful. He dies once. Aim's gonna have the reflection in a couple of seconds. It looks like he wants to go for this kill. The Manta is there, but he's still gonna get chain sunned up. Can he get a Sunder off? He needs a Grave. He's not gonna get Grave. Dazzle was just a little bit too far back, and Terrorblade now taken out of the picture. Invoker's respawned and Inflame, it's all up to you, my friend. He's got just a Terrorblade buyback to back him up and Inflame trying to man up against Burning. That's not really working too well here. Ice 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 blinks forward, does not have mana. And there's the buyback. Cue the music as Terrorblade buys back into the fight. Has a reflection, can slow down Burning. Needs to at least get a Gyrocopter kill off of this, I feel, but I don't even think he can do that. Gyro's got a butterfly and it can sprout to cover the retreat if they need to. Why TP not gonna make it out with the initial one? Has he got time to go for another? Nope. Orchid's there. The fight that way, but the with the benefit of hindsight, the much safer play would have been to back up and wait until the invoker was ready to to join them with all of his AOE control. Could have given yeah. the Terrorblade another opportunity to get the Sunder off even without the Dazzle surviving. It's hard in the moment. In the moment he's thinking, I've got I've got Metamorph up. Let's fight through Metamorph. Oh no, they get the BKBs off after the tornado. And Burning as well, Super trying to fight into the Terrorblade. He's got BKB, he's going to Sunder Burning. Let's get Burning down nice and low. They'll kill off the Gyrocopter. Nice, multiple hero virus strike coming in from Ice Ice Ice. He's going to be forced to get the hell out of there and aim. Going down, or is he? The Grave is there. He's still alive and he's going to back off. Nothing on him to finish him off. Lion now, chase down. This will be the fifth kill in C-Dex team fight, completing the team wipe. They're all dead on the Vici Gaming side. What can c -Deck get done during this? Is this where you pick up a boot to travel if you're aim? Maybe look to rejoin your, your team. Maybe that Dazzle Grave if he's not careful, but they're not committing here. They know it's just a Terrorblade Super. Gonna get slowed down by the Reflection. Pops a BKB, looks to turn and fight. Burning going for the backlines. He zones him out with a cooldown. Now he's gonna get hooked up, but he's in BKB form. Should be fairly safe. f -rot. why? TP's in, in the middle of things. The vacuum great, wall great, is great. there. And it's gonna lose the Terrorblade. Oh no. No Terrorblade for this fight, but they've still got a very, very scary Invoker, and Inflame is looking to chase everyone down here. Burning's got Satanic, he's going to look to turn and fight. He pops it, he life steals. he brings down the Invoker, and that's an Invoker with a buyback. Both carries now on the CDC side are dead, and CDC are just going to have to hightail it out of there.
high ground yeah, defense. I think that's the, their best opportunity. Th their high ground fight is actually really strong if they can get the the coordination. This... It gives them the opportunity to whoa pick up. Yeah, not to cut you off, sorry, but uh, Aegisless Rapier while you're ahead. Burning just. I'm... I know Scant was telling me, man, he feels like Rapier is an underbought item just because everyone's so afraid of losing it, they refuse to buy it. And Burning, Shong, he is not afraid. Yeah, dude. Okay, dispel the DD. Nope, missed oh. the tornado. That sucks. Yeah. And it... Wait wait out the DD, please, God. Yep. Get them down a little bit low before the fight breaks out. There we go. They throw the weave. They don't want to fight immediately off of this, I imagine. So, he is, he is pretty all in at this point. Yep. Burning. The Moonshot's. Pretty hand, like with the rapier though, it's, it's worth it. Oh, can they get the jump? They can see the sinking top. Oh, they've got the weave on everyone too. They get the hex on the burning vacuum wall. Burning's the target. He's gonna go down. They've lost burning. They've lost the rapier. He's also got no buyback. He did not manage to farm the money he needed for it. Elsewhere, they lose the profit. It could not have gone worse. What is that? It. It is. No, there's no buyback on either carry. But I mean, they'll find out soon enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, that is such an unburning like play. As far as burning plays go, that is like the opposite of a burning play right there. What just happened? And CDC with some balls of steel. Top. And Flame's sitting back because he's got the rapier, but as soon as he sees Gyro and DK not buying back, I think he's gonna realize, like, oh, I can just end this game and. Here comes the epicenter coming in from Ice Ice Ice, Strike on the back lines, but there's not enough damage coming out of this. FY, he's going to get slowed down. The Reflection Illusion helping kill him off, and it's GG. CDC Forza Game 3. Beachy Gaming's discipline just not there when it mattered, and... It was, regardless of the fact, like, Burning had the Rapier there, it was... In the late game setting, very much not in, not entirely in Vici Gaming's control. Once that Aegis wore off and CDC held the high ground, it really felt like CDC still had a very good shot to win the game. That one jump though just sealed the deal. With the arcane boots, it's less like it. I've actually done the Veil Max Home Missile. It's kind of funny. Bottom lane in flame, trying to find a kill here on Ice Ice Size. He's going to be just enough. Can he get out of this one though? The homing missile is going to bonk oh. him. No vision. It looks like in flame gets hit by the shadow poison, and oh, there we that go. Shadow poison. Purchase there. That's a big kill for Gyro. I, I say big kill for Gyro. It's a support. Not really the ideal hero to be picking up the kill. And Morphling going to miss a waveform on Fenrir, who should still be going down. One totem hit, and a couple more from the Morphling will secure Morphling. His sixth kill of the game. Six, zero, and three. Aim is looking good. He almost needs to try to find a way to pick up some big items here. Get that courier to the secret shop. Because here comes a push. Fenrir. Okay, here we go. They want the Shadow Demon. Batrider. Has got the Refresh Orb available. Can he kill Burning a second time? He's going to throw a Flame Break, force himself back. Has a BKB, hasn't popped it yet. He's locked Burning in place. Can they kill him off? This could be the game. The Lotus Orb is there. It looks like Burning will get the Blink out for now. In Flame, Zeus Ultimate comes in. He's going to get the kill on FY instead. And CDEC going to die back on their Earthshaker. But they've taken out three Vici heroes. One of which has a buyback right now. And luckily Burning got off a big Mana Void to set up one kill there. And also did not go down a second time. But they've still got high ground defense issues here. Are uh, they going to try and re-engage? Super, his blink gets cancelled, it looks like. Forced the BKB now, throws the Drunken Haze. Aim, ready to just fight himself his way through the front lines here. Inflame has a lasso. Who's he going to go for? Needs to identify the real anti-mage. Goes for Super instead. Pulls him back. Just gets the one hero lasso. I think he was looking for two. Disruption will buy some time for Super, but there's no way he's going to escape that one. June gets himself another kill. He's godlike, and, and no MKBs in sight for any of the CDEC heroes. Makes an anti-mage illusion though, so this replicate is going to be an extra problem for Vici Gaming to have to deal with. They break the Lincoln's Burning, goes in with the Abyssal Blade, pops the BKB with the Lotus Orb, but Batrider does not take the bait. There's the initiation from Earthshaker! They take up Brew, he does not get the split off, there's going to be a refresh coming in from Inflame. He gets another lasso off, unfortunately, again missing the two-hero lasso, but who really cares? CDEC sure don't, they're winning this team fight. they take out the Nature's Prophet on buyback, they're going to lose FY3, Hero Fisher. The Totem from Demon's going to follow up on the Fenrir, gem on the ground, that Mana Void not doing anything at all, and Demon's, he's graved up, he's got another Totem, he's going to start up burning, it's GG! They've taken down the Burning Anti-Mage and CDEC Young are through to the Grand Finals. What an impressive showing. Top two, baby. That's, that's pretty impressive. I mean, this, this isn't the most stacked tournament in the world, but you can't take 
anything away from them. This has been yeah. a really impressive series, especially dropping game one.